Joining us live now is UCSF infectious disease specialist, Dr. Peter Chin Hong. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday, uh, giving us some information on how to stay safe as we enter the weekend. What activities might be too risky even for those who are vaccinated? So the activities that are involving a lot of noses and mouths that are unmasked, that's basically unsafe. Outdoors are okay in general, unless you're gathering with 10,000 people, uh, which probably most backyards can hold. So that's generally okay. But indoor settings, just be careful. Be careful about uh, indoor bars. Uh, alcohol may make you be less inhibited. But if you wear your mask and you're vaccinated, uh, that's going to be the safest group. I worry the most about the unvaccinated folks because we haven't hit our peak yet in San Francisco. You know what I'm finding? I actually got an email from a viewer that was asking me uh, or telling me that they had heard that uh, a couple of people at a restaurant had COVID. They worked at a restaurant, uh, but they were still working and vaccinated because they still felt okay. So there's this kind of disconnect because they don't have the severe symptoms. So talk about that concern for those who are vaccinated, have COVID and are still out and about, maybe with a mask on too. So I'll give you the science twist and I'll give you my recommendation. The okay. science is that people who are vaccinated and get COVID, even though they feel like they have mild symptoms, they have the same amount of virus in their nose and mouth compared to somebody who's unvaccinated, which is a lot. Delta gives you a thousand times more virus than the regular COVID. So it will take a while for that virus to go away. There is no guarantee that that will go away uh, you know, after you start feeling better. At least 10 days, you need to wait after your onset of symptoms to, and you have to feel better before going out in the world. I think people are confused because if you are contact with somebody who has COVID, you can wait three to four days, do a test. If it's negative, you can go about your right. business. But COVID is not a cold. So let me ask you this. Um, as you enter the weekend, what things as a doctor would you not do? I think I probably uh, would feel a little bit queasy about a crowded indoor setting, mm -hmm. uh, like a bar. Uh, right now, again, we haven't hit our peak in San Francisco of virus cases yet. That's still coming in a few weeks. Uh, so things are going up. I would feel unsafe about, uh, you know, any place that I can take off my mask. I know as a vaccinated person, I'm not going to get very ill, uh, but it's still a bad inconvenience uh, to get COVID. We don't know yet about chronic symptoms uh, as a vaccinated, although I think it's going to be a lower risk. So that's kind of where I am. But I, I generally feel safe in most settings because in a risky setting, I'm just making sure I'll wear my mask. Remember that mask on top of vaccination gives you a lot of uh, protection. If you're an unvaccinated person, it's just like 2020 plus, 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 plus with Delta. And it's a really right. risky time to do stuff. All right. And before we go with school approaching, um, I have little ones that are going to school. Actually, they're not they're in high school now, not little ones, but they start school next week. Um, so what happens if they're in a setting where they're vaccinated, um, but say they're around others that aren't and they come home to an elderly person? What is the concern there? Do they bring it home? Uh, very unlikely. Uh, again, many of these transmissions in vaccinated folks were in uncontrolled settings. First of all, the school set setting is going to be more controlled. The elderly person, if they're vaccinated and the teen who's vaccinated comes to visit them, it's going to be okay. And the silver lining for parents worried about under 12 year olds, we just got news that the FDA approval or EUA is probably going to be sooner than we think, which will be in September rather than October. Okay, say that again for, for kids under 12. We are likely to see uh, an approval uh, sooner than we thought uh, by the end of September rather than October for Pfizer. For Pfizer. Okay, good to know. All right, well, thank you as always. You gave us such great information. Appreciate that. Have a great weekend, and we will see you soon. Dr. Peter Chin Hong, appreciate it. Thanks so much, Julia. Thanks.